1,000 metres, T54 category, heat two. Yes, the world champion goes in this, Xu Li Hong of China, Amanda McGrory, the former Paralympic and world champion who won silver last night in the 1,500 metres. This is Maria de Fatima, Fonseca Chavez of Brazil. Semi-finalists in the 15, it's her first major championship. Diane Roy crossed the line first in 08, won the gold, but the race was rerun. Ended up being a silver for her, but she has been a Commonwealth Games champion for Canada. McGrory with a great success last night. Madison de Rosario, the 800 meters world champion uh, for China there. That's Lu Li Hong, who's the reigning world champion over eight and five, and also in the four by four. Chelsea McClammer, silver in the four, bronze in the 15 here in Rio so far. Paralympic champion over 400 and 800. And Ganilla Wallengren, silvers in the four, the eight, and the five. Bronze in the 1500 meters at the European Championships in Grosseto. And we are underway in this women's 5000 meters, T54. They'll have watched and observed what Tichana McFadden did in that first heat. We'll be very surprised if we have a repeat of that here. It's Wallengren, McClamo, Zhu, De Rosario, McGrory, Roy, and Fonseca Chavez. It's the uh, top three who will go through to the final and the next four fastest overall. And Gunilla Wallengren, you may just remember, she was the athlete who was in the center of uh, quite a finish of the European final of this in Grisetto. Three going for the line, Wallengren, and then two from Russia, Kocharova and Abdi Karamova. And Abdi Karamova gave Wallengren a massive push to the side with her hand in the final lap. Abdi Karamova finished second, was disqualified. Kocharova won. Wallengren upgraded to the silver. They decided uh, against the rerun of that, but it would have been interesting uh, what would have happened if, the, if we'd a, a proper race all the way through in the final 70 meters or so. Well, Wallengren has had a very profitable summer so far. And can she follow that here for Switzerland? having had silver in the 1500 meters in the World Championships last year in Doha, but finished 10th here. So the pace being set at the moment, the United States, McLaren and McGrory doing uh, as well here as they did in that 1500 meters final last night. And in third place, Madison de Rosario for Australia, 11 laps to go. So McGrory leads but eases to the outside. McClamour takes her. De Rosario is in third position. As they head to the back, Wallengren sits in fourth at this stage. And then it is the Brazilian Fonseca Chavez. And second last, Zhu Ling Hong for the time being. As they go back to single file formation. And at the end is Diane Roy at this stage with her personal best, 11.16.96. But she's nowhere near that at the moment this season. As they come towards the home turn on the next occasion McClamour McRory De Rosario and then in fourth place we see Wallengren this event so much more her cup of tea and we've seen her competing in so far and then it's Fonseca Chavez thinking about a move here is Zhu Li Hong from China just at the moment halfway out of that inside lane and being tracked all the while by Roy as they go to the back section and the Americans just dictating here with leading out McRory McClamour on the outside just keeping De Rosario in a pocket keeping her where she wants her at the moment now she's just going to ease back and work out a position from there on the outside of Wallengren Fonseca Chavez and then in second last is Zhu and Roy thinking about a manoeuvre from Canada. Thought about it and tucks herself back in. So down the straight they come. McRory holds the way in front of De Rosario, the 22-year-old from Australia, and McClamour third. Nine laps to go. McGrory taking them out at the moment with De Rosario in second place and McClamour in third. McClamour with that bronze last night. McRory with the silver led over the line by Tatjana McFadden. And obviously, if those two make it again into the 5,000 meters final, team tactics, certainly from the United States point of view, can come into it again. Two Americans just pushing to the side for the moment. Madison de Rosario, the 
800 meters world champion, who's a T53, by the way, racing here among the T54s. That brilliant sprint finish in Doha as she claimed her first global gold. Out of Sydney, trained by Louise Sauvage. Pace has settled down, really. De Rosario having a turn out the front for Australia. A little bit of movement just coming on the uh, outside. Lu Zhi Hong is tucked at the back, and so too for Brazil, Maria Fonseca Chavez, who will get a nice bit of support here. Good cheers for the other Brazilian, Elena Rocha, in the previous semi-final prior to this, when she was leading the main chasing pack from fourth to seventh. De Rosario has done, done her turn at the front. A little bit of movement up by uh, Chelsea McClammer. But obviously, if these two, McClammer and McGrory, You'll know when they were going on the line that there was no challenge for the gold. If it was a, a different nationality, I think they'd have pushed on a bit further. But once they'd locked into the top three, they'd uh, got into their positions, crossed over the line. I don't think either would have wished to have bitten the hand that fed them. Manuela Shah was in fourth place and what was a really interesting final in the United States getting a clean sweep. And that obviously would be the big intention for them for the final. And look at this. We've got uh, seven laps to go, and in the lead for the United States, Chelsea McClammer with McGroy of the USA in second place into Rosario third. And they're pacing it out well, the Americans. 58-19 was the preceding lap, 57.8 on that occasion. So McGrory from McClammer, and then third the inside, De Rosario, who's been right up there on the premises from the start. And then it's Roy Wallengren, and the hopes are high from the Brazilian crowd. Fonseca Chavez tracking the right person in Wallengren, hoping to bring her into the race. And at the end is Zhu, who's just biding her time. And I'm sure the Americans are wary of her at the end of the field. So as they come into the straight, 57.8, that previous lap. You seem to see what McGrory produces here. And it's going to be... About on par, De Rosario tracks through into second place. Now McClabber's going to take a breather. Third, the inside. They've gone a bit quicker, 55-59. And that's interesting. McGrory's just going to ease off and let De Rosario do some work for the first time in the race. Roy watching this all unfold from Canada, fourth, the inside. Wallengren has had a sweet run in transit as well, fifth, the inside. And now just thinking about a move is Zhu. Might not be the right time. Just trying to keep McGrory one off the inside line. Still sits in last and capitalising <coughs> is Fonseca Chavez through to fifth. So as they come into the straight, it is McGrory leading from in second place, McClammer. De Rosario is right up there as well and towards the end, Zhu, who hasn't spent a penny at this stage. De Rosario leads. Yeah, five laps to go. Madison De Rosario had her spell at the front again. Very much a different race. A lot of teamwork going in between everybody here. After you, Claude. McClamour and McGrory, though, on each other's tail. McClamour leading with McGrory just behind. De Rosario's just tucked in behind them for the time being. Wallengren's had a pretty good run with that. Uh, she's not wearing the Swiss colours apart from the helmet. She's got the yellow helmet. She's in third place at the moment. Moving into fourth for Brazil. Fonseca Chavez, the crowd appreciating that. That's pretty much the highest she's been at this advanced stage of the race. Fifth is the Rosario now. Six just moved back, Diane Roy. And for China, the back marker right now is Zhu Li Hong. The real racing hasn't started yet. As they come down the closing straight, we've got four laps to go. Things will really accelerate in the final thousand meters or so. United States still largely controlling this race as it is. McGrory and McClammer. Rye finally has made a little bit of a move up. The Rosario has tucked herself into the back, but no real worry about where she's placed at the moment. Looks like McClammer's made the move on the outside. And now we've got a little bit of acceleration coming from Chelsea McClammer. She's decided to put the hammer down. Diane Roy falling back into the third place now. Has to China. Julie Hong gets into position. And now those in the back have decided time to let's go. That includes Madison de Rosario. 
who's moved up into the third place. A very strong finisher, as we saw from that World Championship 800 metres final last October in Qatar. The Americans have been broken up for now. McGrory not quite lost in the pack, but it's McClamour who leads them ahead of Zhu of China, the Rosario of Australia. And in fourth place for the United States is McGrory with three to go. Well, that really set them alight, a 53.84 lap going into the back. So McClammer has broken them up, but now it goes down the back section with Zhu immediately onto her back. De Rosario, who was initially shuffled back in the previous lap, gets to third. And then in fourth, it is McGrory. And then in that group of five is Roy. And the other two seem to be struggling towards the back of the field, Fonseca Chavez and Wallengren. And they are going stride for stride at the moment, fighting out sixth position. So coming into the straight with just over two laps to go. Going to the lead now. It is McGrory, De Rosario behind it, McClammer the outside. And then in fourth place is Zhu. You get the impression Zhu has had the sweet trip in transit with two laps to go. That uh, next time, that next lap, 400 metre lap, 55-18. So they just took the foot off. The acceleration a little bit on that occasion just to conserve their energy here for the last lap and a half or so. So it's McGrory, McClammer, De Rosario and Zhu. So the race will be interesting with a group of four because the first three automatically qualify. Then it's the next four fastest. So you don't really want to be in the clubhouse and just wait. So I'm sure... They've all got that in their mind as they come around the turn, also trying to conserve a little bit at the same time. So it's McGrory, McClammer, De Rosario tucked in on the inside. That could be a dangerous position in the last lap. And Zhu knows that. She has the Australian where she wants her at the moment pocketed. So that second last lap, 56.02, and they're about to wind it up as they get the bell. McCrory, McClamour, De Rosario, and Zhu, four fighting out three automatic places. Back in fifth place is Diane Roy. 12.17.83 is the target. The fourth fastest loser at the moment is Jay Jones, but it's the two Americans who dictated. Amanda McGrory was back in the park a little bit when that acceleration happened, but she had her teammate and Chelsea McClamour at the front to help control things a little bit. USA 1 and 2. The big battle now, really, is obviously to see who's going to be in fourth place. It's Sue and De Rosario up with McClamour and McGrory. Here's the final bend. And on the inside, Amanda McGrory for the United States. Outside, Chelsea McClamour. McClamour with a little bit of push-up. Shoe's going to go over to third. They're all going to go through, by the way. The time's very quick for De Rosario. She'll have realised that. It's McClamour, McGrory, Zhu and De Rosario. Top three automatic. De Rosario's the fastest loser. So will be Diane Roy in fifth with 11.59 and some change. And I'll tell you, sixth and seventh, I think, will go through as well. 12.15 was Shah. That's how it's going to be. Wallengren and Fonseca Chavez are going to go through also. And despite the fact that we had that incredible time early on from Tatjana McFadden, the rest were a good bit back. McClamour, 11.49.25. Uh, two seconds thereabouts slower than McFadden's winning time in the other heat. But everybody in that heat worked out very well. Oh, good work, Chelsea McClamour. Uh, to Rosario with a bit of congratulation as she crosses the line. Lifetime best for Zoo as well, but they've all made it. So I there's an earlier were... manoeuvre there where McGrory went through, tracked by Di Rosario. And you're quite right, Will Di Rosario not panicking in that final lap, knowing she would go through as they come into the straight on the last occasion here. McClammer on the outside of McGrory, Zhu on the outside of Di Rosario, who was just able to conserve there in fourth place. In fact, they're all really well and truly comfortable and for the honours of taking out the semi-final on the outside it was Chelsea McClammer from in second place Amanda McRory so that US domination could continue when we reach the final of the 5,000 metres with also McFadden involved well they trifected the 1500 and there's no reason why they can't do it again in the longer distance race and let's see First of all, 
how they all qualify. So McClammer, McRory all there. Yes, they all will go through. Zhu, De Rosario, Roy, 